Well, good morning, everybody. Getting up to the nice morning. Coming out and see what's out here. The homestead. This one might change the name to homesteading. Off grid homesteading, but there's so many of those out there. So, we, uh, what did we do yesterday? Pulled out the 4x4s, put them down, got ready to put the solar panels up, did the roof at, oh it's probably about 20 degrees, it seems like they work better at 20 degrees, probably shouldn't have put it so close to the, the trailer, all this metal it makes me nervous out here, but the further away you get from where you're charging your battery your discharge line will lose power so my battery in there that i charges that runs the trailer needs to be charged you know as close as possible to, that you can get the panels to the battery so that's our chore today we're going to put the panels up bolt them down but first i got to go back to the hardware store and get the uh oh these ridge things in here that insulate it i want it to have some some kind of watertight i'm gonna have to put a floor in there somewhere and a little door so i can bolt the uh charge controller in there run the cables in there i'm not going to bury them yet i'll probably end up putting them in like a one inch pvc underground about 10 15 10 feet or so and then come up into the uh the fifth wheel what's that down there who is that down there look it's a wild animal <laughs> So that's our project today, and then see how I feel later on. We'll make some money today. But it's sure going to be nice to uh, have those solar panels charge a battery to light up the fifth wheel so I don't have to do it. But this is basically an experiment to see how it works on where I can go. Because as you can see here, I've got my building outlined here where I want to do it I'm getting eager to do that but I've got to wait for those stabbing rails to come from and be delivered I actually got to go pick them up save $16 go pick them up and make some more finish that log down there I was going to do it yesterday but those 2 by 4s they're not true and so you get a lot of imperfections in there but um yeah this is it beautiful out here it's only as beautiful as you make it it could be beautiful and quiet and relaxing out here but you're not going to run 1,300 miles and run from yourself. So you got to do a lot, a lot of changing, a lot of interchanging, a lot of adjusting. It's easier, just like muscle memory, it's easier if you remember what it's like to live like this. It's harder for other people that are used to all the comforts in life and come out here and culture shock. Man, sure is beautiful out here. Love it in the morning is the best because, oh, I'm telling you, yesterday, the gnats and the bugs were so bad out here. It was just horrendous. I need to eat more garlic. Seems like it affect Pam and Tyler the most. They were really swarming on them. Had to pull out the old bug spray and 
coat down on it. After we did that, boy, they they took off. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna get Shay over here. Come on, Shay. Come on, baby. Come here, you wild animal. Come on. Come on, hound dog. Come on, hound dog. Where are you going, baby girl? <laughs> Come on, pretty girl. Come on, pretty girl. Yeah, man, the mornings are the best out here. It's just beautiful. The evenings are pretty good, too. But you get around 3 p.m., and you're done. It's time to get inside and kick the air on and relax. Time to relax. Well, I had to use a couple of my 4 by 4s from my garden yesterday to put this crab cage together. Just remember, people, it's not a piano. <laughs> Made some mistakes. Man, I haven't built anything in 30 years. It's been a while. From when I used to build homes. We were... This is my fault, not their fault. But we made it work. And, um... Well, anyways. Hmm. Yeah, you get the birds in the city in some spots, but not like this, man. I'm just waiting for all the shrubs and everything to start growing real good down there. It's very really beautiful, people. Let the world pass you by. <laughs> 